Put like and subscribe to the channel. Please just go to the Google and YouTube and search for the Alien Tax Champion and and this uh, and like and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. This this channel is meant for the technical news uh, about Microsoft Endpoint Manager, iOS, Android, or com or any Windows 10 computers or technical news or tech blogs. So in this video, I am going to share you how you can create how you can create the escape certificate profile right or, or and the trusted profiles with microsoft intune for your ios devices or for your mobile devices right so this is microsoft intune portal if you go you can directly go to the ios devices or or you can just click on the configuration profile whatever you prefer so since i am i'm talking about the ios so i'll go by the platform wise and here you will see the configurations profile you have to create on create new profiles and then select the templates here and we are talking about skip certificate so there is two type there are four type of certificates is there right you can if you have if you want to use that and this templates right actually it's content of groups and when you use this template you don't have to build the policy manually right you can just uh, access the so the, there is uh, there are uh, there are three type of certificate right as you all already know pkcs pkcs imported and skip certificate and trusted certificate so we're talking about this uh skip certificate which is simple certificate enrollment protocol this is actually protocol which enable the certificate based authentication for your organizations and then we'll publish this uh, we'll import the trusted root certificate from the ca and assign to the devices that uses the escape protocol okay so uh, let's use this uh, skip right and and this is only for if you if you using uh, if you have a plan to use the certificate based authentication then you need the certificate from your ca server whether it's internal ca microsoft or microsoft or any third party third party ca server external so let's key for uh, global or ios I, whatever you want to give give it name as per your template skip profile right keep the, i'm keeping the same name okay and just click on next and you see there is a certificate type user base and device base what is the difference between this if you select the user base you will see the subject name it will fetch the username and if you use this user base so the certificate will get downloaded or request based on the user right and if you select the device base you see you see here it's changing subject name uh, so i am i am planning to use this user base authentication so if you select the user base authentications you will use both de device uh, subject name format so like if you want to put like something like upn email username or like just put the comma and put you see here username email if you want to use email address or you domain or anything like if i want to put something like that uh, equal to okay this one device id okay and okay you see here so i want to use username email address and there are many combinations available on the microsoft site you you can search for this uh, or you just click on this and click this link you will see all these options are available here see here so you see the certificate type user user certificate can contain both user and device attributes in the subject and send of the certificate and if you use the device device certificate can only contain device attributes in the subject like device id right so i that, that's why i'm using user based authentication all right so so that we can use both user and device attributes and if you just scroll down you'll see the attributes the common name right cn is a common name e for email right so you see the username principal name there are many attributes which attributes you want to serial number imi number like email address and device certificate type you you could use this one so i'm using device id which is actually in tune device id and then username and email address okay the subject subject alternate name right this is actually how actually in tune automatically create the value for the san in the certificate and this is the most important actually i say 
you can use based on your requirement like email address or upn or whatever you want but i am going to select the uri uniform resource cutter and then uh why because uh, because uh, in if you have a if you want to use this skip certificate for the wi-fi like and since i am using the cisco iac so in our environment or then then to fetch the grid method uh then you have to configure this ui here so what you have to put here you have to put here you see here uh, this is the actually cisco article so when we configure in this cape scape you have to put subject alternate name and choose uri and you have to give attributes like this one okay so that why we are giving this one so that once you configure the subject alternate name then we have to create the config like skip profile then include the gyd value in the name if you don't uh, put this attribute in the subject alternate name then you will not able to get the gyd grid from the cisco ic why we are using grid because because the san san the san configurations allow cisco ic why 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 it's important the san ic the san subject alternate name Configuration allows Cisco IC to receive the unique UID for an endpoint for the Intune server to handle the issue that are prevented by the random MAC changing MAC address. So it will also prevent. So let me put this here, right? So if I put this URL, so it will also prevent. Uh, it will also uh, IC is our my Cisco IC will get the. Uh, give ID from the Intune and it also help us to uh, it also help us to uh, to get the give ID from from the from from the in from I mean disable uh, from the changing the MAC address and then you can select the key uses this is the key implement if you want to encrypt or if you don't want to encrypt just use the you can use both all the details are here if you just scroll down you will see the user certificate device type device certificates right certificate validity key users you see key allow the key exchange only when the key is encrypted and if you want to use the key D signature just help to protect the key so I am selecting key and then I will select I am creating four iOS so I will selecting forge 4096 here keep it 4096 and then you have to select the root certificate as well okay see yeah i missed that actually uh sorry for that we need to upload this root certificate prior to configuring the uh, skip certificate so we need to upload the trusted certificate here before that let me open and i will quickly update let me open in another tab and just i will go to sorry Where is it is I think I missed that so you go to the devices quickly sorry for that I think I missed that you have to just create this one trusted profile I mean you have to upload the trusted profile right so that your certificate will be pushed okay so I was trusted profile trusted cert profile trusted cert profile and which is actually root certificate which you can get it from your skip server if you have so this is my root certificate uh, or you, you you can use the third party certificates you can assign it I'm just creating these certificates here you see I was trusted forget about the spelling Okay, now I will click on root certificate. Okay, let me go to the previous next root certificate. Uh -huh. wow. Maybe it will take few minutes. Okay. Or okay. 
जी आर यू ट्रस्टेड 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 सर्टिफिकेट्स द दिस सर्टिफिकेट यू यू कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम योर स्केप सर्वर और इफ यू हैव एनी थर्ड पार्टी सी एस सर्वर यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम देयर एंड देन कैंसिल दिस वन क्रिएट न्यू प्रोफाइल्स के टैम्पलेट्स स्केप सर्टिफिकेट्स राइट एंड देन जस्ट कीप स्केप सर्ट प्रोफाइल क्रिएट के I have already shown, but user and give it the name URI. You can use also any principal name. And now not this one. Let me carry it here. Okay, from here. Since no, 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 no. Sorry, what happened today? Okay. Sorry. So this is the URI. It's actually we want to use it. URI value, and then here key uses. I want to encrypt value four zero nine six root certificate fully. Yeah, you see. Once you if you don't have uploaded, you don't you won't get this one. Click on root certificate name. You want to use any purpose or client authentication or secure email. Normally, you will select the client authentication so so that it will cover all, and then you have to give the escape server URL. So this is this is very important so that the uh, I mean you can add add and more multiple so that the the certificate which you uploaded it will get the for for the devices right. So let me put HTTPS. Okay, I'm just giving just simple NDS dot com slash s e r t cert s r v. So you need to get it M S and this this must be accessible from the external from the device, not the internal U R L, right? So this this U R L must be accessible from any other. Why is that? And this 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 is if you have configured the Skype server URL or if you have third party Skype server, third party CA server, you can this is that that will be always external, so you can use that URL. Click on next and then click on next, assign and then create. So you see, uh, it's long video, but but you will get right. So we have created the trusted profiles. The first you have to create the trusted profile and. this and uh, while creating this root certificate this certificate you need from the ca and then you here you need your uh, skep server url whether it's public or your internal skep server these two certificate and then you can create the wifi profile and publish to the devices you know how to create the wifi profile i already made a video on how you can create it's very simple just go select the template and create the wifi and create it Just to do next, I mean, create and select the Wi-Fi type, basic or enterprise, whatever you want. If you want to do for enterprise, disable the MAC address randomization. This will fix the issue and put all those details and assign to the devices. That's it. Similar like VPN or or anything you want to push. This is how you can push the certificate to the to your devices using the certificate-based authentication. Till then, thank you. Have a good day.